RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Agritechnica 2015 is brought to you by Dow AgroSciences Canada. Sean Haney here with RealAgriculture.com and Agritechnica 2015 in Hanover, Germany. And right now I am joined by TJ Schulte, and I'm a marketing manager with uh, Trimble Agriculture Group. Well, look, are you enjoying Germany? Yeah, it's, uh, this is a great show. It is huge. I can't believe how many people are here. It is uh, It is hard. To, until you're actually here, it yeah. is hard to comprehend how big it is. That is definitely the case, yeah. Well, we've made our way to the Trimble booth. Um, we're in front of your TMX 2050 display. Let's talk about it. Okay. So the TMX 2050 display is a 12-inch uh, touchscreen display that's been in the market for about two years. We've made some huge improvements to it in the last year. Um, one of the main ones you can see is we've opened it up to really feel like the real Android platform. So you've got apps that you can load from the Trimble App Central Marketplace. Those are apps that are developed by Trimble partners and resellers in different countries. And then also by some of the um, implement manufacturers and tractor manufacturers that we work with closely. So it just gives their customers and our customers more access to that information. Um, one of the hugest benefits there is that uh, here at Agritechnica, we've got customers from all across the world, all different locations, different practices, different preferences, and this allows our resellers to customize the system to exactly what they need. If they want to use a certain app to do a certain practice in their area, they can do that. If they want to use a certain accuracy level for the GNSS corrections or a certain type of steering, we can set it up that way for them here, yeah. So what role does the 2050 play in the cab of the track? Yeah, so it's definitely our uh, leading product for guidance and steering. So uh, definitely um, Trimble has enjoyed uh, that position as a market leader in accuracy for GNSS corrections and steering, and this continues to push that. Um, the other role that it fills is because it's connected to the internet, just like a regular tablet or laptop is, you can connect over Wi-Fi by a tethered cell phone or by connecting a modem. You have access to the internet browser, so anything you can think of internet-wise. It's got all the Trimble connected farm apps for fleet management, irrigation management, all that kind of stuff. So um, we're meshing together the traditional display in the tractor that's just used for guidance and steering or application control with all the uses that they have of a tablet. So if I have a, if I already have an Android tablet, can I convert that into a 2050? Yeah. Right? Like how does how does it really is a convergence, right? Like yeah. for, for a long time we. We were we had other monitors that were totally separate, and mm -hmm. guys were carrying their their yeah. tablet with them, and th this really is a convergence. Yeah. So the the functionality to still steer a tractor, control rates, control planters is still unique to the 2050 itself. That you can't do that from your normal Android tablet. The things you will see in common are all the way the settings are set up, the menus, the flow of how you add and remove apps, how you can customize them on the home screen, and also the apps. So this um, quick support app from TeamViewer, who's a third-party company we've worked with, it's the exact same app that's available on your Android tablet or phone. The um, Trimble Scout app, exact same app that's available on um, your Android phone or tablet. So that's some of the commonality that you see. So we're, I guess you know, we've, worked, we've done the convergence. Uh, mm -hmm. We've had updates in the last year. Where, where's kind of the next step for the TMX 2050? So one of the things that we're really focusing on here in Europe is going to be um, ISO bus connectivity. I'm sure, um, so that's going to continue to be a bigger, bigger deal in Europe and also across the rest of the world. So we've made some great improvements here where um, you can use that connectivity to the different implement, implement brands to take advantage of the ISO bus functions that they've already installed. And then the other one is we're going to see more and more apps show up on here from specific implement manufacturers. Um, one of the things at Agritechnica I cannot believe is the breadth of companies there are manufacturing and selling implements. Um, it's huge. It's, um, and so each of them have different practices, use cases, apps that they use. And so we're here to make that connection with them, load those apps on the display eventually so their customers can use the TMX 2050. Yeah, it's not as simple as there being like four manufacturers. Oh, man. It is, yeah. it's shocking. Yeah, it is. I mean, I, um, I think shocking is the right way to put it. I can't believe how many implement manufacturers you see here doing similar things. They're all really good at it, but um, yeah, there's not just three or four big brands here. Right, and so does, is that sort of really where the simplicity of this system sort of lies? No matter what brand you have, it can carry from 
yeah. whatever color unit you're driving. So uh, one of Trimble's really primary core strengths is what we would say, um, what we would call used on a mixed fleet. So when we have customers that have different colored tractors, different colored implements, different combinations of all that, where we really excel is being able to work with all those. We have more and more customers who have more and more of a mixed fleet. So they've got green tractors, red tractors, yellow, blue, whatever, and they're making those decisions based on what iron is available to sell, rent, buy, when they need to make those decisions so they don't always have the luxury of making sure it's all the same brand. Um, and with the, tr the TMX 2050 and our auto steering systems, we have platform kits available for a huge range of implement and tractor brands. Well, thanks a lot for joining us. Enjoy the rest of the yeah. show and uh, try to get out of the booth and walk around. <laughs> all right, thanks guys. <laughs> Thank you.